one phrase can bring back up a myriad of emotions and even memories. So I woke up the other night and I heard the Holy Spirit say, Teresa, you need to chum the water. Two thoughts. One, that was so personal. He had a personal word for me, but chum the water immediately had a dad memory, a memory of my dad. Chumming the water and fishing means you're bait fishing. And like my dad, he would open up a can of corn and he would chum the water by throwing the corn out where we had baited hooks to attract the fish, then a greater chance of catching a fish. So Holy Spirit, <laughs> in the middle of the night saying, Tracy, you need to chum the water. So I had some great Father's Day thoughts, and I share them in the Kingdom Enter podcast in the episode coming up. But it made me think of something else. One, my dad chummed the water for the Heavenly Father in such a way. Now think of that. Chumming the water is you are throwing out corn or something to attract more fish to take the bait. So my dad, in his workplace, he chummed the water so well from out of his place of spending time with God. He, he was so kind to people and draw people to himself where he could share Jesus or just, he just carried the father's heart. Um, I just have some great memories of that. Or so chumming the water made me think of this, uh, vine dresser word. That's one of my favorites where the vine dresser says, you are the much needed salt to a world that's lost its appetite for a loving meal at the table. So how can we chum the water? That's what I was asking the Holy Spirit. I've had quite a few days to process this and have some great dad memories. It'll go on my podcast, kingdomentorpodcast.com, if you want to check that out when it's published, which I'll do in a couple of days. So I really was intent, though, because when God says something not almost crazy like that, I think, okay, chum the water. How can I chum the water to draw people to, to the Father's heart, not to me, but draw people? So I thought of, wow, you can chum the water with your declarations. You can speak and live a life in such a way that you attract people to Jesus. You can chum the water and listen and give where God's telling you to give. It was just... I don't know, I'm, as I'm having troubles with words of describing how meaningful that word was, probably a little more meaningful because it brought back such great memories of my dad. My dad passed away at 48 years old, so he was very young. But I can remember as a young person getting up, he got up real early in the morning, but getting up, getting my bowl of cereal, and he's still up, my dad. He's sitting in that green chair reading the Bible, and I'm just eating my Cocoa Krispies and just watching them. Yeah, sorry, Cocoa Krispies. <laughs> my mom goes, ah, I fed you that. And he was getting prepared, see, to chum the water where he worked, but it came from the overflow of his time in the Word. And he sat in this big green chair, which I thought was interesting. He was in the vineyard of his intimacy with the Father. One day, I know I woke up, and he had pages of the phone book he had ripped out and he was praying over these complete strangers. I remember thinking, interesting. I was just growing as a Christian. I was more interested in golf and everything else. But later in life, and then to hear the Holy Spirit say that in the middle of the night, he actually had something very personal for me that I took action on that has helped. But he drew me in a little more and he says, Teresa, every day we get to do that by our voice. We get to find our voice in the vineyard and then we get to use that voice to chum the water, to draw people to the truth, to go where we are and, and speak, chum the water, uh, walk in kindness, uh, be light to a world who thinks darkness is num normal and struggles with enmity and conflict. How we can chum the water at home, speaking love, 
creating an atmosphere where children are can be raised and not their spirits squashed and we can speak life over them, send them out. And they've been from a place that they've learned how to do that themselves. <laughs> ah, are you catching this with me? Are you catching this with me? So just one phrase, chum the water has really just wrecked me for the ordinary today. And that's always fun. But I just challenge you to be that light to a world that thinks darkness is normal. I challenge you to be that salt to a, a world that's lost its appetite for a loving meal at the Father's table. Maybe making them, uh, how to say it, making them realize, hey, wait a minute, this is what I'm missing. or I, I need some of that. The, the, I, I know we caught a lot of fish by chumming the water. In fact, one rainy day weekend, I think it was like three days, we had a lot of people there. We caught 81 fish. But the, oh, the thought here is we don't necessarily catch the fish. Yeah, we want them saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. But get this, we get to show them how to fish so the kingdom of God continues because hey that person really I learned a lot <laughs> they showed me how to chum the water in my neighborhood they showed how me to speak and chum the water on the, on the, in my city or speaking on my Instagram or my Facebook or wherever God's put me I'm going to be the one that it's not like I'm the tension see when we threw the bait out we wanted to hit the hook <laughs> and you know, the, okay, there's some fish, there's some, there's some corn over there. We want them to say, hey, we like corn. Interesting corn, isn't it? I just remembered my dad throwing out corn. He might throw out other things, but anyway, just a thought for you on this. Uh, what day is it? Tuesday. And so let's go fishing together. Let's chum the water together. Let's speak life. Because when it's all said and done, my friend, you have a powerful voice. You are a valuable. You are enough. You are an answer to someone's prayer. Your kindness, your love, your goodness, your mercy, your speaking truth, your pulling people out of the pit. You taking good care of yourself, loving yourself. On a good day, I do well to manage me. Take care of yourself. Set up some boundaries to take care of you so you can be the best chummer of water, if that's such a thing. So just a thought for you today. I really do love you. You know it. And I can't wait to talk to you in the next video.